Uh, we need everyone in southwest Louisiana paying very, very close attention to this storm and heeding the warnings uh, that have been going out for a number of hours now. You're going to hear ranges of storm surge that we haven't heard in Louisiana since Hurricane Audrey in 1957. You're going to hear the word unsurvivable to uh, describe the storm surge that we are expecting. And what we know is that the weather across southwest Louisiana and really across all of south Louisiana will degrade over the next several hours to the point where we're not going to be able to run our buses. Uh, for example, from the Lake Charles area to depopulate individuals, transport them to shelters. And at some point, you know, a couple of hours after that, uh, mid-afternoon or so, it won't be safe for anyone to be on the road down there. So people need to heed the warnings they've been given and to evacuate. And if you think you're safe because you made it through Rita in southwest Louisiana, understand this storm is going to be more powerful than Rita. It is gaining strength, strength. It is not losing strength as it approaches the southwest coast. We know that the storm surge values are higher. The wind speeds will be higher. Um, and so even if you built back stronger and you're up at 15 feet elevation, understand the storm surge is going to be expected to be 18 to 20 feet in that immediate area where this storm comes and makes landfall. We also know that it's going to hit overnight. And so for people who make the decision to stay, uh, the worst thing you can do is when that storm really starts beating at your door, uh, one or two o'clock in the morning is to decide, well, I'm, I'm going to leave now because that will be the absolute worst decision you can make at that point uh, because the transportation on ground level will be ultra hazardous, more hazardous than you staying uh, in your home, which is why we need people to start evacuating now. Uh, if you're in those low lying areas, if you're Local officials have told you that there's uh, evacuation in place, whether it's mandatory or voluntary, uh, we need you evacuating now. Um, and by the way, the, the road network is not so congested that you can't get out. I just looked at I-10, for example, um, and the, the traffic is flowing freely on, on I-10. Um, so understand, we're talking about unsurvivable storm surge uh, in Cameron Parish, and really that's that's the designation that's being given from the Texas line over to Intercoastal City in Vermilion, in Vermilion Parish. Uh, for the first time in uh, many years, we have activated the entire National Guard. Um, and so at this time, I'm going to I'm going to give the podium to Ben uh, so that he can go through the weather. He's got some slides for you. I'll come back on the back side of that uh, and speak for a bit, and then we'll have uh, Sean Wilson from DOTD give you an update as well.